Welcome back. We're going back in the kitchen with my next guest, affectionately known as the posh pescatarian. She's Stephanie Harris Oyidi, the author of a new cookbook, Going Coastal. It's packed with more than 200 seafood recipes from around the globe. And she's here with some tips to help us eat fresh, healthy meals, and save money. Stephanie Harris Uyidi, welcome to Black Renaissance. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited about this. Hey, we're in the kitchen today. And yes. you know, I got your book, Going Coastal. Love yeah. this. Love this. Thank so you. many great ideas. And you've got some tips to help us save money. Gas is high. Uh, you know, the grocery store is even worse. What can we do to keep some of those dollars in our wallets? Yes, yeah, some of the things you can do to keep the dollars in your wallet are a few things that I'll give you tips on today. Okay. One of the first things uh, when it comes to seafood, because that's my area of expertise, is that you want to start looking at the frozen aisle, the frozen seafood aisle. Like a lot of people sleep on frozen seafood, but guess what? It is one of the most affordable and the most sort of diverse uh, regions of the seafood market to shop for seafood. And, and it's okay. It's okay yeah. even to get frozen seafood. It's totally okay. And for the most part, most of the fish that you have in that seafood case has been previously frozen. They won't tell you that, but that's actually what's happened. So it's very a rare occasion where you're gonna get fish fresh off of the boat landing in your seafood case. So ah. start. Right, so start uh, at the frozen section and then move on to the next section. What section is that? That is the legume and bean aisle. Ah, so fresh legumes? Yeah. All so right. You're going you're to start making your own staple foods. So instead of buying cans of stuff and, you know, two bucks to three bucks a can, you're going to start making your own beans and rice and freezing that stuff. It freezes really, really well. So I've got a couple of recipes in the book for red beans and rice. You can make your own red beans, you can make your rice, and that stuff freezes really, really well. Now you also say make your own staples, things like dressings, things like that. That's right. And dressings, you know, you'll pay up to eight bucks for a good quality dressing, but all you need are a couple things, a lemon or a lime and some olive oil and spices, and you've got a perfectly dressed salad. And this goes for green salads, this goes for pasta salads, uh, it covers the gamut. You even mentioned granola. I happen to make my own granola. Yes! <laughs> I'm very granola proud of myself. <laughs> it should be because granola is one of those really fun things to make. If you've got children or folks who just like to uh, noodle around in the kitchen, granola is a really affordable way uh, to bring breakfast or treats to your kitchen without a whole lot of work. I mean, there's some effort to it, but you're not sort of slaving away in the kitchen the whole day. Now, back to the store. You mentioned okay. that generic store brands, those are just as good as the fancy brands. Uh, I always thought there would be, what, some additives or something, something that made it beca different because it's so much cheaper. Yeah, but for the most part, what's happening is you've got this thing called co-packing. So some of those companies that make uh, cornflakes for one company also make, uh, you know, the other breakfast cereal with a compatible name. So, yes, you can, most of the time, whatever you're buying in the store that has a store brand is often made by one of those big brand labels and you'll get the same quality in most cases. Ah, good to know, good to know. And you know, the holidays, summer, 4th of July, all that's coming up. Some of us are leaving and then some of us are planning on staying. And for that staycation, if you want to make a really good meal, give us a, suggest a suggestion. Yeah, so staycation, you know, is all about staying at home and making it sort of this really fun adventure. And one of the recipes from my book, actually a few recipes from my new book, we've got the Caribbean going on heavily. I have Caribbean roots and I really love this style of cooking. So one thing we're going to make today, I'm going to show you how to put this together really quickly, okay. is a char grilled white fish with pineapple chow. Wonderful. And what do you yeah. do? So pineapple chow is this really fun pineapple spicy salsa, and it's really quick to put together. It's sort of build your own adventure. You're going to do chunks of pineapple, and every cook does this differently. Chunks of pineapple, we're going to add in some cilantro. I love cilantro. We're going to add in some habanero pepper or scotch Ooh. fun from the Caribbean, right? Nice and spicy. Mm-hmm. 
add that. I've got that chopped already. We'll add that. And I like to add ginger to mine. Now this is used as a salsa as we do here in the States as a mango salsa topped with fish but uh, or chicken or whatever it is that you're using. But this is also used as a snack when you cut the pineapple into a spear. It's sort of like how you do in Mexico, how you have those street foods. Oh, right, right. A little bit of red onion. Fantastic. And for our fish, what we are using is a grouper today. We are, a grouper is a really famous fish in the Caribbean, and that's what we're using. We've got a little seasoning, salt and pepper on here. Will, any, that will any white fish do? Any white fish will do. Most white fish will do. You want something meaty and flavorful. So we're going to cook this on both sides. And once it's done, we're going to have something really, really incredible that looks like this. Ah, uh, that looks delicious. And you know what? I'm gonna remember these tips because we all need to save some money. Stephanie yeah. Harris, Uyidi, thank you so much. You got it, thank you so much for having me, bye y'all. Don't forget to check out Chef Stephanie's new cookbook, Going Coastal, with more than 200 seafood recipes from around the globe. It's available on Amazon and independent bookstores nationwide.